part two because of my timer. My timer went off and shut the thing off. My ears are still pressed closed in order to even do part two. It doesn't end or change in the city of DC. You must plug your ears if you want to try to just beg God to keep a train of thought. Keep those ears pressed tightly closed with your little hands. That's how we do it here. Okay. Um, so I, I covered the mass grave site and then the cooked human remains while I was standing in that room. All right, my extra room. During it was during the time that this group work discussion broke out, my room started to fill up level three with cooked human remains, and I started to have to breathe through my mouth. It was so fucking heinous. All right, and I knew if I went out in the hallway, it'd be three times worse. I didn't know at the time when I was breathing through my mouth, listening to the group discussion of the procedural arrest and so on and so forth. I didn't know I'd be um, going in the hallway. But there I was in the hallway and I filmed my presence out there. And um, the cooked human remains is not overpowering the dead body stench. That's what I mean by the dead body stench billows out into the oxygen. It is so fucking horrendous. The stenches of dead bodies in here. But you can, God willing, you're brave enough to smell it. And I did. I, I had to smell your body mix the the thing with your nose. You can't control it. I walked out and my, my I was just breathing through my nose. It's natural. I don't need to explain this to adults. And that's how I registered. Oh, my God, I'm in a mass grave site. Oh, my God, there's cooked human remains. And that's how I can testify to all this. And at that point, I immediately stopped breathing through my nose. But the cooked human remains is not overpowering the dead body stench. But it is definitely mixed in. I can't find other other word besides the stench of cooked human remains is mixed in. But the strongest, most overpowering stench is of the dead bodies. Okay. And while I'm standing out there filming all that, you can hear on film, I would assume, a terrorist trying not to be detected, not to be heard, but working up there with shoes on and hard objects. A tub, I believed I heard while I stood there on film, and hard objects. Once I closed my door, which I had to, it was time to stop filming. It was green light. Stop. Stop right now. Stop. Get back in your room. I did, and once I closed the door and stopped filming, I am not lying why would i lie within four seconds i'm standing right by the door okay i'm standing not even 12 inches from the door maybe i'm ex no let's be precise i'm standing about a foot and a half from the door dude i mean i was right by the door i closed my little door and i was standing there i had hardly any time to move from the door and then at that point, a terrorist went down in that bathroom. It was the terrorist I filmed. I'm highly sure of this. And with that terrorist dying in the bathroom, all this metal went down with them. That's what I didn't realize I was hearing, but it was metal when they went crashing down. All this metal. The sound that metal makes when there's a pile of it going to the floor. Thank you very much. Okay, and while that's going on, this fucking group work discussion is just going and going and going in that fucking murder room. Okay, and anything before this, any other things with this, anything after this, I cannot talk about, all right? Bye.